We're in Rovaniemi, which is in Finland, just inside the Arctic Circle, and we're testing the new JCB Fast Track 6000 series in some arduous cold climate conditions. Last week we had temperatures as low as minus 28, and this week we're at around minus 6 degrees, but we've got a lot more snow, so there are lots of varying conditions for the machine to deal with. This machine at the moment, it looks pretty similar to a machine that we're already producing. Our 4000 series looks pretty similar, but every system on the machine is different. Uh, we have a different engine, different axles, different transmission, the hydraulic circuit's different, the control systems for each of those circuits, they've had to change in order for it to work. We're looking at CTIS at the moment, so uh, we have a system where we can inflate and deflate tyres from within the tractor while moving. So that's having to be tested here as well. New screens, new electronic components, every, everything really on this machine is new and we are having to assess its, uh, its reliability, its performance and how we are managing it and how we're using it. We've been running some typical cold climate operations here to put the machine through a realistic use case while we're, while we're here. So this morning we went and did some snow blowing. This is used when you're clearing thicker patches of snow off the roads. And we've also been doing some snow plowing work this is performed at higher speed on the roads at around 50 to 60 kilometers per hour. You need to be licensed to plow on the roads in Finland, so we've got Kali here to help us really put the machine through its paces. It tests the machine's transmission. It also tests the PTO driveline and makes sure that the machine can perform correctly when operating under these conditions. We're also using Yanni's quarry here, which is the backdrop. And in this area, we can go and do snow blowing and some other duties that we can't do on the main road. Uh, such as some trailer towing up some steeper inclines and also generally performing some more shakedown on the machine that we couldn't do on the public roads. We're uh, measuring pressures, flows, temperatures, vacuums, reading for faults permanently all of the time, even seemingly minor things like performance of lights, performance of the heater and the windscreen demist. All of that kind of thing takes on a whole new light when you're below minus 20 degrees. Whilst we're in the machine and running, I'm monitoring all of the temperatures and pressures and other data channels to make sure that we're running within acceptable conditions for the machine. We collate all the data from hot climate, cold climate, and the tractor's being run in the UK at the moment. Data gets collated, faults and issues and things that we can improve we, uh, we, we note down and uh, then try to find ways of solving issues, improving the product, uh, mechanical component failures. We sometimes have to go back to suppliers to, uh, to get improved parts. Generally, by doing this kind of testing, we will have a much better machine. The ultimate goal of this testing is to sign the machine off at these cold temperatures. We need to ensure that the machine performs just as well here as it does in the UK under less arduous conditions. We need to make sure that we don't have systems that leak when seals become cold. We need to ensure that the operator can use the machine quickly, that we have a good warm-up procedure. And probably most critically, we need to make sure that the machine will actually start. So we need to have a good grid heater, good fuel heaters, and an adequate size starter motor to ensure that the machine will actually get going in these cold conditions. Ultimately, we need to get the 6000 series tractor on the market and out to customers, and we want the customers to be really really happy with the product.